Hello and welcome. Let's take a look at the comics that I picked up on August 14th, starting with Wolverine Revenge. That's Wolverine colon Revenge. Number one for Marvel, written by Jonathan Hickman, art by Greg Capullo, and inks. Did Tim Townsend? Tim Townsend's, uh, Tim Townsend does inks, I believe. Pretty sure. You know, his, his name's only been on comics for what, the past 20, 30, probably 40 years at this point? Yep, Anchor. Yeah, so I have no idea what currently goes on in X-Men books other than the uh, new X-Men book that I'm currently reading, the uh, Ryan Stegman book. I don't know what goes on in Wolverine. Last time I checked, uh, Ben Percy. Ben Percy was doing Wolverine. I think he's on Ghost Rider now. But here we go, Wolverine Revenge. Wolverine's in the Savage Land. Apparently Magneto's dead. This page, and I think the cover, isn't there a dinosaur on the cover? Yeah. I thought this was going to be like Savage Wolverine or Wolverine Jungle Adventure, but it's not. They're basically on the Savage Land. Not that long. Dinosaurs didn't really care for this. He let this Triceratops die. He let these guys die while this other dinosaur takes out everybody. Doesn't seem very Wolverine to me. Like, I feel like he should have been on top of that shit, but... Nonetheless, classic, old-school Nick Fury shows up with uh, Cap and Bucky. It's, it's great seeing uh, Greg Capullo back at Marvel doing artwork. Thought he was going to, after his run on Batman, I thought we were kind of going to get stuck with him doing indie books with Scott Snyder for years. But, nope, we're doing, we're doing mainstream comics again. Little memoriam here for Ray Chan, who did... Uh, stuff for the Marvel MCU. Worked on Thor Dark World, Guardians of the Galaxy. So, rest in peace, Ray. Yeah, this is... Uh, I actually like this. I think this is a self-containing story. So I'd kind of like, like to see where this goes. It's kind of fun. Right away, look at... Look what's going on here. Like, they're S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. Yeah, Nick Fury basically has to have... Uh, Wolverine, Cap, Bucky, and a few S.H.I.E.L.D. agents go... Go do something. Go find uh, Mastermind and put a stop to his evil plans. But we got Deadpool, Omega Red, Sabretooth. And like we all know, like characters from Wolverine's past. Wakes up. They all have a, they all have a bomb inserted in them. Don't want to spoil too much, but this is... Uh, I think this is going to be a fun read. I almost did not pick this up. I thought this was going to be part of the normal Wolverine series, but it's not. I think this is five issues. So this, I am curious to see where it goes. Again, Greg Capullo art, Hickman's on writing. Thank you, Hickman, for doing uh, House of X, Powers of Ten a few years ago. Probably the best X-Men series in a long time. So I would give Wolverine Revenge a recommend. Next, Daredevil, Woman Without Fear. I don't know what to say about this. Other than that, we have a spelling error. Well, at least, yeah, there, was, there it is. At least for a minute or two, at least. At least is the word we were looking for, not a least. Is Marvel charging by the letter? But anyway, who wrote this? Erica Schultz. Erica has the modern take on basically what Punisher is. This is new Punisher, don't care for it, but I don't know why we're thinking that Punisher is this bloodthirsty killer that just kills people at random. He doesn't, there's reason for it, but this page alone tells us that she has no um, history of Punisher, like Frank Castle Punisher. I do like this panel though, it's, it's a good, that's a good panel. I do feel like the art in here is very similar to Alex Maleev, who did Daredevil back in early mid 2000s with Brian Michael Bendis. This page alone, this this art just looks like Maleev artwork. It's it's an okay issue. It's serviceable, but not great. Hopefully, this is just a mini series, nothing too major. I don't want to put too much time into this, but. Yeah, I read this. I mean, it's not terrible, but it was all right. Next, 
a book that is not all right, a book that is great, G.I. Joe, Real American Hero, number 309. Last couple of videos, last couple of issues I talked about how this was sort of like kind of teetering off, kind of having sleeper issues. We're back on track with the action, story, everything. Everything is in here. Love the art. Story was great. I'm waiting for either Destro and Baroness to turn on Zartan or Zartan to turn on Destro and Baroness. I, every time I see them on a panel, I'm, just, I'm waiting for something to happen. And it did not happen here. I'm loving this. I cannot say enough bad, uh, cannot say enough good things about G.I. Joe, Real American Hero as a whole series. Heads up, for those of you that read this, this armor for Cobra Commander, I never liked it when I first saw it as a kid. I just thought it was like very gimmicky. It doesn't fit Cobra Commander, but that's his battle armor. Spoiler alert, spoil, that's not Cobra Commander. We find out this is Cobra Commander. Cobra Commander's right there. This is just a, a decoy. And he's doing a good job getting everybody to believe this. Cobra Commander. All right. So, great issue. Larry Hama, hats off to you. I know your health isn't so good right now. So, keep doing what you're doing. This is a great series. It's phenomenal. I love it. Spoiler. Um, real quick. Look who got his name in, or his letter in the letters column. There you go. Pause it if you'd like. There you go. I love it. This dude's collection. Look at this. It's like every issue of G.I. Joe, like the Marvel run. So, again, love this series. Pick it up if you haven't already. We're, what, nine issues in somewhere? Great series. Love it. Can't recommend it enough. Next, facsimile time with Crisis on Infinite Earths, number five, hollow foil cover. This is George Perez at his finest drawing. Just filling the page, just giving something... Just filling this page up with everything, man. Like, this is why I love George Perez back in the day. Like, his, he knew how to fill up a page. Fill up a page, fill up a cover, get people to buy it. Advertisement for Supergirl. But, yeah, we don't really review facsimiles on here. But we do go through them. Page quality, great. Again, only DC book I'm buying are facsimiles. This is sad. But you did a good job. You did a good job. I think a few more issues to go and we'll have this entire series in facsimile, hollow foil. Yeah, let's go on there. Let's go on that on that road. Next, everybody's favorite time, bi-monthly, for you perverts out there, Penthouse Comics, number four. This is not the cover I wanted. I wanted the Mateo Scalera cover. My store only had one copy. It was damaged, so I didn't pick it up. This was the next one. That I picked up it was five dollars more than cover price but whatever so this is the alinity cover for those of you that don't know she likes to sit on her cats and throw them around she's a streamer she likes to throw her cats around and sit on them on stream here is our powerful message by terry cruz remember we had arnold schwarzenegger we had dolly parton i don't know if she had any like dirty laundry that that happened i don't know uh joss whedon and now terry cruz who got touched and, and didn't like it sorry terry it's kind of a weak move you're a very handsome guy i'd probably touch your butt too like you're a really good looking man not i'm a very heterosexual male but i'd i'd probably touch you too just to get a feel no homo art in here is great i cannot say enough good things about the art in here we're going to go through the pages because guess what? We have an editor. We can blur this shit out. Story, the writing, I don't know, but the letters, or I'm sorry, the art. Art's beautiful. Almost every every story in this book is great, or the artwork is great. There's a lot of goofy stuff that goes on here. The I Spit on Your Grave story still has, I think, the best the best artwork in here. Look at that. Yeah, this is the I spit on your grave story. Look at all that lettering, all that wording. It's very, very wordy. I really hope that when this is all said and done, 
that they release these stories as individual trades, individual books. Can't show you that. But here is your cover girl. They kind of honey dicked us on the cover. She does not appear nude. Maybe uh, we could probably forgive her if she appeared nude in here for throwing her cats, but that did not happen. We get her in a bikini. So there you go. Penthouse Comics, number four. And last but not least, I did, oh, I do want, yeah, here's what I want to recommend. Penthouse, put your books out like this. Like these European hardcover books, like one and dones when they're all, when they're all finished. Just put them in these hardcover books and I think they'll do great. I don't know if you guys are planning on I'm doing that, but that's my recommendation. I did pick up Alter Ego number 189. This is Roy Thomas's magazine. I know Roy Thomas is in the news because he wants his name to be credited for creating Daredevil, or not Daredevil, creating Wolverine, co-creating him. I'm sorry, you did not co-create Wolverine, Roy Thomas. But anyway, John Romita tribute issue. He passed away about, like, what, a year ago? So I think great, I think... Uh, Romita's greatest accomplishment is his son, Junior. John Romita Jr. But yeah, here you go. I like picking these up. I didn't read this. Look at that awesome Romita Wonder Woman and Superman. It's a shame we didn't get more out of uh, DC work out of him. There you go. Alter Ego, number 189. Penthouse. So... Yeah, those are the comics and books that I picked up on August 14th. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys picked up for that week. And we will see you guys soon in the next video. Again, thank you very much for watching. And we'll catch you in the next one. Later.